couple of years back, a Bonanza, the turbocharger came off. Just after takeoff, holy, pretty much the exhaust system came off and the guy decided in a second that if I continue, I know that that's gonna burn a hole through something. The hot exhaust gas is gonna either burn through the firewall or through the cowling. I need to put it down. And he had other people on board with him and he put it down off the end of the runway amongst the trees out here. Um, rode the aeroplane off, three of them walked away. So he made the right decision. You need to be able to do that in a split second. Every year, thousands of students across the country begin their flight training. Whether it's overcoming fear, a career in aviation, or the enjoyment of flying, students start by enrolling in flight school. On the Sunshine Coast, Go Fly Aviation, operated by Damien Wills and his team of instructors, work hard, have fun, and teach everyday people to fulfill their dream of taking flight. Jeremy receives a phone call that one of their former instructors has passed away during a training accident. This has completely rocked him. As I'm the, the focal point of all of the, um, the calls, <laughs> or the explanation, like I, I have to explain everything, um, it, it kind of, reality for me personally set in it's like, how do you convey that it's still okay to fly with other students? You know, how do, how do you keep the, them motivated when you can't even keep yourself motivated? I sort of found the last couple of weeks to be quite difficult. It's not that I want to stop because I don't want to stop, but you just sort of, you just got to push through that wall when you hit that wall, when you hit that plateau, because you, you sort of, Ability level is sort of like being climbing so rapidly, and then all of a sudden it's like this, or it will, might be um, sort of drop down a little bit, and you're not hitting things the way that you have maybe. You're not doing things the way you maybe have done them in the past. But um, I just got to push through it. That's it. I just, I know I've just got to keep going and keep pushing through, and and I'll get there. But yeah, it's just been a bit, a bit frustrating. Yep. Stephen is doing simulated engine failures with Scott. Being able to glide in is an important skill to learn. It's also important to maintain tight circuits so that in the event of an engine failure, a pilot can make it back to the nearest runway at the airfield. And we go full uh, flap. Yep. So remember, when we get close to the ground, we don't want tight turns. We don't yeah. want to. We don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to bend the bloody aeroplane. Yeah. So nice and gentle. And see how steep this approach can be. Yep. So a little bit of a right turn. Okay, good. Airspeed's good. And keep it off the ground. Alright, full power, full power, full power. Push it forward, hold it forward. Nose wheel off. Damien and Jeremy take time out to process the passing of their former colleague and the impact it has had on the aviation community. Out of all the pilots, the instructors that I've known, you know, I would not expect any, any day to get a phone call like you when you rang me yesterday. He was just so safety conscious, so it's yeah, really hard to, hard to understand it. I've had a couple of calls. Mm. Mainly wanted to know information about the, what happened. Yep. And how much longer until they actually... Well, they just started the investigation um, on the weekend, so I don't know. I don't think there's any clear sign of what's happened. Um, otherwise, they, they try and release information as soon as possible for other operators of the same aircraft type. But yeah, as far as I know, they're still under investigation. There's no clear, clear sign. I spoke to him the week before, and I was emailing him the night before. So, and he was in really good spirits, so yeah. This week I was uh, flying with Tony, who's our chief mechanic, and he was sort of like hammering me about making sure that I that I stick to doing a thousand feet in my circuit. Stephen's frustration with his progress is evident as he continues to make the same mistakes throughout his lesson. Don't fall into the 
into the bad habit of uh, using the trim to fly the machine all the time. Right. Some students can be fairly testing and trying, but it's my job to get them through that. And a lot of the students will find that it's great, you know, first three, four, five lessons, we'll get into circuits, then it gets really hard. And they're on this great uphill climb and then it levels out and they feel they're not going anywhere and they just get so frustrated with it that, you know, you just everybody wants to give up because it's not happening. I've got to keep going. It's my job to push them through that, even though I might want to walk away and go off to the beach or something and have a cold drink, but I've got to try and push them through that and help them through that to see that they can actually beat that, get through the other side, and then it's plain sailing. We're going to arrive, we've got 70 knots, but we're going to arrive high, so just bring the power back just a little bit. Calandra, having CC 75 knots on the left, base runway 05, switch and go, Calandra. Hold your speed, you're getting slow. Nose down. That's it. Hold that speed all the way down. Yeah, all right, check your power off now. Fly the airplane down. Ooh, break that rate of descent there. Left wing down a smidge. Right oh, no. Up to one, and away we go. So get that stick back and hold there. Right rudder. You need a lot of right rudder because the wind is blowing us off. Full power. Full power. I was coming in too high, which is sort of like meant that he had to sort of jump on the stick and, and sort of assist me to land. So, yeah, so that's, that's probably been a little bit frustrating for me over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I expect more for myself today. Oh, at this. What do you mean? Like that? <laughs> Not a great day like that, personally. Yeah, 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 no, and that's per as in terms of my flying. Oh. So, um, I was too new to climb through that thousand feet. Yeah. Um, and it's, I'm, you're right, I'm getting hung up on my radio calls because I'm doing, I'm waiting for my radio call before I'm, I'm actually navigating and communicating before I'm actually aviating. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. I'm really now more at the point where um, my shortcomings are actually starting to piss you off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rather Very than much scare so. You. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking turbulent. Yeah. yeah. Piss yeah. off and let me land nicely. Yeah. Tony I mean? provides a listening ear and some much needed encouragement. I think that's probably the most frustrating thing most at the moment. So. You start questioning your own ability. It's kind of like with with um, circuits. You know, you get the stages where you plateau, just like in learning. You plateau um, with what's achievable, and what's not achievable, in your own abilities, and then you question those. You know what I mean? You go, "Ah, oh, I don't know if I should be doing this." And then, then the money factor pulls in, and you go, "Wait a minute! I know how much money I can make in IT." Um, and I know how much money I can make in aviation. Aviation is fun though. IT is fun to some degree, but it's also very challenging. Get a way up. I don't know. Next time on Taking Flight. He's only doing one circuit. Joel recommends a student for his first solo. It's a little nerve wracking. Jackson resets his flight test. And Stephen continues his circuit training.